my homie think it's dank, I miss my cocoa butter kisses. I think we all addicted. Cigarettes on cigarettes, my mama think I stink. I got burrows in my hoodies on my homie stinkers. I miss my cocoa butter kisses. But sometimes it just feels like my life is over. Like, as far as pursuing my creative dreams and stuff like that, it be feeling like I ran my course. Like I missed an opportunity to become whatever it is I thought I could become. Now, I know this isn't true because there's so much stories of people who make it after the 30s and well into their 40s. So I know that's not true. But man, I can't help it. Sometimes to feel like, am I doing all of this for no reason? Like, am I sacrificing my time for no outcome or output or, I don't know, out something? A reward. Am I sacrificing all this time and effort for no reward? But I mean, I guess, you know. In the present moment, the reward is the journey, like the fact that you're able to do it and the fact that, you know, you're learning something valuable and that, you know, you might have came across some money from it or you met someone really amazing or networked or whatever the case is, right? We could consider those a reward, but y'all know the reward I'm talking about, man. That reward of like, ah, I made it. I'm doing exactly what I love. You just wake up and do what you love. And you also don't have any restrictions surrounding like the things that you want to do. That's the reward I want. It feels like that's so far away. I feel like at one point I was getting close or I was on track, but I don't know. out of 365 and um you know it's thursday man we're chilling we're really, we're really chilling right now uh just after work prepping the chicken we're gonna leave it in the oven on a slow cook okay we cut the vegetables and the potatoes i'm gonna do like one pan with all the vegetables and potatoes with chicken and the other pan is gonna be cilantro uh chicken thighs so tomorrow in clinton township hey lights up stop and then when I come back from the gym, I'm gonna make some habichuelas with some white rice or brown rice and 
and I'm gonna make a little spinach salad so I can get my greens in. I high key don't wanna really go to the gym. It's 6.30 p.m. right now. P, yes, p.m. And I'm exhausted and I just wanna sit here and low key just do nothing. But future me would not be happy about that. So we're gonna, we gonna push it through today. All right, let's go. Okay, okay. <sighs> Smell like something cooking. Hold up now. Oh yeah. Now watch this. <laughs> Just Roasted everything. The dog inside you is what drives you to finish. The dog drives you to dominate. When it's one on one in the hole, when it's one on one, the ball is in the air. The dog makes the play. Because in this game, bigger dog wins. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I didn't bite her. This shit is banging. This is absolutely fire. The chicken is so tender, flavorful. Ten out of ten. When I tell you, y'all, that food was banging. That food was banging. I shocked myself today. But I would say this I feel like. The reason why it feels that way is because I'm chasing something or like I'm holding on to dear life. That's how it feels like. It feels like I'm just because I'm holding on to this invisible outcome. My hands are not open for the blessing that's to come. You know what I'm saying? It's like I had the vision and I'm holding on tight to this vision because the vision is not tangible. There's nothing in my hand, but visions are just meant to be observed. It's like you're supposed to have the vision, cherish it, observe it, let it go, free your hand. Don't hold so tight to that vision. Just appreciate it. You observed it. You took it in all the way. Now let it go. Keep your hands open for your, that vision to become reality. You get what I'm trying to say? Does that make sense? Because that thought relates to the thought I had in the morning about Feeling like, oh, I feel like I'm running out of time or, and uh, it feels like I missed a blessing or whatever, whatever. I went on to say that if all of that were real, if everything I said was to be a reality, that I was just blame myself because I wasn't clear on what it is that I wanted to do. And I went on to talk about niches and the importance of niches and how, like, if you pick one niche, it doesn't mean that everything else is null and voided and that if anything you could use all your extra hobbies and interests and things that you're into to support this one thing get creative on how you incorporate everything together you know yeah it was a train of thoughts that i had dog it was great it was amazing uh but um i feel better i feel like i was supposed to feel that then go through a day like this where I was super productive and realized, damn, I, I'm not doing too bad after all. You know? 
That's my ramble. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow for day 158. Take it easy. Peace.